I'm going to show you the top killer feature of complete control that I use 90% of the time. If you have not tried complete control or perhaps you've installed it and didn't really know what it was about or didn't really get into it this is the video for you it is very much a beginner's guide complete control can do a lot of stuff but i am only going to concentrate on the one killer feature in fact i think this feature is so brilliant i would even pay for it no, this video is not sponsored. Maybe it should be, but I've been using complete control for oh, a lot of years now. And I just find it so useful and convenient. And I think if I find it useful, other people may well find it useful too. And it's free. So I'm going to start the video with the killer feature. And if you think it is just as killer as I do, I will show you how to get complete control and how to install it. It is free. Did I say that? And it comes with a dozen or so free instruments and effects. The first thing we have to understand is NKS, what it is and what it does. NKS stands for Native Control Standard. And if an instrument is NKS compatible, it will then show up in Complete Control and you will be able to use all the cool features of Complete Control. Now, NKS is not particularly difficult. I don't think to add to an instrument. So a lot of companies are getting on board with it and there are hundreds of NKS compatible instruments which work within Complete Control. So, what exactly is Complete Control? Well, it's a shell program. It contains all your NKS compatible instruments. And why is this cool? Let me show you. So this is Complete Control, or at least it's my Complete Control. Yours will look slightly different. At least this section will be different because these are all the instruments which I have. And I have quite a few but this is where the magic happens because these are all the presets from all these instruments and if you look down in the bottom right hand corner you can see i have over 105,000 presets so you can imagine trying to sort your way through that lot is not an easy job but this is where complete control comes into its own so if we have a look at the top left here and i hope you don't mind if i put the magnifier on i struggle to read the, the text here but we have instruments loops and one shots and these are instruments so i have 105,000 instruments uh if we select loops for example these are the instruments which have loops in them and they are generally the expansions these are essentially designed to work with uh, native instruments machine hardware you can use the sounds the loops and the drum sounds in other pieces of software i'm not going to get into that uh, today but machine it's far easier to use these with machine than it is with uh, with, with other software so if you have a look down here you can see i have uh, over 2000 <laughs> loops and if we have a look at the number of one shots here there are over 20,000 of them so that's quite a lot to sift through so for now let's just concentrate on the instruments so instead of having to sort through 105,000 presets we can narrow them down by category and type so these are the categories and there's quite a selection and all the presets have been pre define pre-tagged with category and type tags so if we select board strings for example then the number of presets immediately dwindles to a mere 5000 you can select multiple categories if you wish but you can also select instruments by character so let's say we wanted an acoustic sounding board string instrument of some description and you can see that the instrument selection changes here and the presets change and now we are down to a mere 600 presets so this is just a massive time saver when you are searching for a particular sound amongst your quite possibly hundreds of instruments so having got this list of presets here's the the second really cool thing about complete control if we select one 
then we get a preview of it. So you don't actually have to load the instrument. So I think that's really cool. It saves an awful lot of time. Now, if we are talking about synthesized instruments, generally a synthesized preset will load almost instantaneously. But any instrument which has a sample component, that takes just a little while to load. So using this preview method, you don't have to wait for the sample instrument to load. So you might be saving a couple of seconds. You might be saving about five, six, eight, possibly 10 seconds, depending on the instrument and depending on how fast your system and hard drives are. But this can literally save you minutes, if not hours of time over a period. The other super cool thing about Complete Control is that you can step up and down the presets using the arrow keys, the cursor keys on your computer keyboard. So I'll just do that now. So I'm just using the arrow keys. So if, if you know you're after a particular type of sound, you can just use the arrow keys to run through the previews very 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 quickly without having to use the mouse so let's say you found a sound you like you can load it into complete control just by double clicking on it let's try this one. Oh, this comes from yuhi's diva so now you have the instrument you can twiddle and tweak and adjust the controls with the mouse if you wish and the name of the instrument pops up here now, if you want to go back to the preset list, you click on the library icon, these little books. And you're back to the preset list. Now, here's another neat function. Sometimes you hear the sound, the preview of the preset, and you think this is this is fine. This is what I want. But when you start to play it, it's not quite exactly what you're after. So what you can do is to pin the presets uh, in place by clicking on this little pin icon and when that's highlighted you can load a sound so I'm playing that from the MIDI keyboard it has loaded it but it's just not display thank you but it is just not displaying uh, the instrument in the window. So you can step through and select other sounds. Playing this again from the keyboard. Scroll down. Double click on that. That's loading the sound. Playing that from the keyboard. And if you want to see what instrument it is, and if you want to do any further editing, then you can click on the library button. And there's the instrument which you can tweak and edit. And when you want to start again, look for another sound, you can click on the reset filters. So this process, the ability to sort through all your instruments presets by category and by character type, it just saves an unbelievable amount of time. The other thing you can also do, which you may have noticed up the top left here, is to sort the instruments by brand. And here you can see just a few of the companies whose instruments I have in here. Now, if you want a full list, let's just quickly head over to the Native Instruments website. This is a list of the companies which are producing NKS compatible instruments. And there are dozens and dozens of them. Now, I'm guessing for political reasons, some companies may just never support NKS, which I think is a bit of a shame. But there is politicking in all aspects of life. But a massive number of companies are supporting the former. Arturia's V Collection, for example, is NKS compatible. Spitfire, some of Spitfire's libraries are NKS compatible. You here, which produces Diva and Hive 2 and Zebra, they are NKS compatible. UJAM, Strasdorf, Sampling, 
And what's cool about this as well, particularly if you are just getting started with Complete Control, there are actually quite a few free NKS compatible instruments which you can load into your system. I shall leave links to a few of them down in the description. So if you weren't previously aware of what Complete Control could do, what do you think of that? This just saves me such a massive amount of time, not only the preview feature, but the ability to sort through all your presets in one, as it were. This saves me absolutely hours. So if you're still with me and think this is cool, as I obviously do, I will show you how to get complete control along with the free instruments, how to download and install them. So to get complete control, this is the page you want to be at. I shall leave a link to this in the description, but sometimes URLs change, so just do a search for complete control and you should end up with a page, something like this. So if you just want to download it, you can click on the free download button. If you want to see what you are actually getting, then you can scroll down has a little bit of information about it. And these are the free instruments. Uh, these, are, these are really quite nice. Uh, Analog Dreams, <laughs> I quite like. Ethereal Earth, I quite like. These are nice, nice effects. So these are freebies and you can try them and use them. And they all obviously work in complete control. So you will get a really good idea of how complete control works. There's another button here to take you to uh, a download page as it were. We'll get to this in a second. Now, while searching for this complete control page, I actually found this one as well. And th this is called Complete Control Hub. It gives you a little bit of information about complete control. It doesn't list the instruments, but it, it tells you more or less what it does. And if you scroll down, now I'm just going to mention this for a reason which I'll explain. If you scroll down, you will come across an advert for complete control keyboards and native instruments have three of them there's the s series the m series and the a series now just to be absolutely clear you do not need one of these keyboards in order to use the complete control software what sometimes confuses people is that these are called complete control keyboards and the reason for that is because they integrate I have to say very well with the software. So if you load an instrument in complete control, then the parameters of that instrument are automatically mapped to the keyboard. So you can control the software instrument via the hardware on the keyboard, which is pretty cool. But again, you don't need one of these. You can just adjust the parameters of the soft synth as you would with any other soft instrument. If you get into the native instruments ecosystem, you want to, might want to explore these. But again, for the third time, these are not essential. So I'm just mentioning these in case you come across them and wonder if you need one or not. And the answer is no. But on this page, you can also click the link to go to uh, the free download. And when you click on this link or the link in this page, you will end up here which asks you to set up a native instruments account now if you already have one and are signed in here is the get the free software button so when you click on this you will be taken to this page where you can get complete start that is the current name of the current complete bundle complete start so what happens when you click on this is that all the instruments and effects that you saw in the previous pages they are automatically added to your native instruments account now once they have been registered to your account you can install them on your computer using a piece of software called native access this is essentially an installation manager, but it is the only one you will need for native instruments instruments. Now, again, there are probably a couple of places where you can download native access. I shall leave a link to this. This is a direct link to native access download. You can download the two versions for the Mac, Intel and Mac Silicon and Windows. And there's a little bit of information about it here. Now, once you have downloaded and installed Native Access, when you run it, it will ask you to log into your Native Instruments account, and then you can download and install all the goodies and all the freebies. Let's have a look at that now. So this is Native Access, or again, at least this is my Native Access. And the tabs you want to look at are the ones up at the top here, which say all, installed, 
and available. All shows all the instruments which you have or have registered. Installed, of course, shows the ones you have installed. And available shows the ones which you have not yet installed. I have a lot yet to install. So this is my top tip for using complete control and contact libraries as well, of course, because they show up here as well. Before you download anything, go down to the bottom left and click on settings. You can't mess about with the theme and the very various other settings which are fairly self-explanatory. But here's the one which I think is most important and it is the file locations. And the reason why this is so important is that many of the instruments, not just native instruments, instruments, but instruments from other companies have a sample content. And in fact, some of them are essentially sample libraries. But even if they are not full sample libraries, many do have a sample content. And you really do not want to be putting these on your main C drive. They just take up an awful lot of space. For example, if you download and install all the instruments in Complete Control Ultimate 14, these take up over one terabyte of disk space so you need a pretty big c drive to do that but in any event i really think it helps to keep the content separate from your main drive so here you can set the default locations where the different parts of the instruments will be stored the main application folder the vst 32 bits should you still be using them 64 bit folders the vst3 folders tend to go into program files common files vst3 so that is normally taken care of automatically so you can set custom locations for various parts of the instrument i generally leave these as they are apart from the ni content location which i move to a separate drive it's an internal drive it's a solid state drive you could also use an external drive so my main tip here would be to set a content location on a second drive i think this will save an awful lot of time going forward now if you expand your system, if you add another drive, if you want to move everything onto another drive after they've already been installed, it's still relatively easy to do. I'm not going to go into that here, but you need to do it on an individual instrument by instrument basis. So if you have a few hundred instruments, if you want to move all of them, that might take a little time. The second tip I want to mention again is down on the left here, and this is the add serial button. So if you click that you'll get a little pop-up which is asking for a serial number now whether or not you actually need to add a serial number here depends on the individual instrument but one cool feature of some third-party nks instruments is that you will get the serial number and if you enter it here then that will become available in the available tab so you don't have to download anything, mess about with installation managers or anything like that. Well, obviously, apart from native access, but then you can just go to the available tab and click on the install button and woomph, there you go. So given the option between running an installer file and putting in a serial number here and then using native access to install a piece of software, I will go with the serial option. Now, one other thing to bear in mind is that if you do install an instrument with its own executable file, i.e. not through a serial number, then sometimes it may be necessary to add a serial here in order to get the NKS complete control system to recognize it. Just something to bear in mind in case you've installed something and it doesn't show up as you might expect. So hopefully that will get you up and running with complete control and some free instruments. Now, as I think I mentioned earlier in the video, there are additional free NKS compatible instruments produced by other companies. So I shall link to one or two of those in the description as well. So if you try complete control, please do let me know what you think of it. Now, I know not everyone is into the native instruments ecosystem, but I just, as I've said before, I just find this so much of a time saver and it reminds me of instruments which I may well have forgotten about. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, maybe you would like to consider subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell. Thank you. So you get informed of new videos as soon as I release them and clicking the big thumb would be really appreciated too. Thank you very much for that. And if you have enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy these videos as well. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one very soon.